The following is a special presentation produced by WBBZ-TV in partnership with the Erie County Fair, supported by the fair and their sponsors. It's time for Fair Day Live, everything you need to know about the Erie County Fair with interesting people, places, and events at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. With that and more surprises, here is Kim Piazza. Welcome to Fair Day Live. I'm Kim Piazza. Thank you for joining us on WBBZ TV and across the country on Facebook Live. The Erie County Fair has so much to do, so much to see, and so many events that you need to check out. Some of those events today on this Fair Day Friday are Create Your Own Veggie Creature at 12 p.m. in the Grange Building. New York born, bred, and raised beef cattle show at 1 p.m. in the Livestock Arena. Linda Lund from Bakcha's Pierogi giving a cooking demonstration today at 2 p.m. in the Erie County Fair Cook's Kitchen and Shop. Lucas Oil Pro Pulling League Truck and Tractor Pull at 6 p.m. in the Buffalo.com Grandstand. You know, the Erie County Fair is just full with craftspeople, with artists, with individuals who can just make the incredible happen with their hands. Well, we had the pleasure of taking a look at some of those fair artisans. Take a look. You never know what amazing, interesting, fun, or artistic things you're going to find at the Erie County Fair. Well, if you take a look at this phenomenal bench that we're standing in front of, this is all hand carved with chainsaws. That's right, chainsaws. And this amazing work is done by T&D Carvings. T&D, what does T&D stand for? Tom and Donna. So Tom, Tom and Donna are, are, are modest artists. They're, they're modest, modest about their work. But really what you do is incredible. The idea that you can stand in front of a log, you see that we've got logs over here just laying on the ground. Look at the log and see an animal in that piece of wood. How how do you do that? Um, I don't know. I, I see multiple things in the pieces of wood. Um, it just depends on the wood, um, and you know, a lot of times custom things. Well, you know, people speak to me with custom things, and then I find the log and put it in the wood. Awesome. How many years have the two of you been working in this uh, art form? Uh, we started in 2000. And did the two of you start together? Um, I started slightly before she did, and she thought I was having way too much fun, so she said, let me try it, and now she's got way better than me, but it's pretty cool. See how that happens? <laughs> and um, you're doing something kind of special here at the Erie County Fair. You are doing um, demonstrations how many times a day? S Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then Friday we have five demonstrations. So f four a day, uh, typically five a day on Saturday? Friday and Saturdays. Friday and Saturdays. And then the pieces that you're creating here at the fair in front of an audience are um, going towards a fundraiser. Yeah, the, the, it's for a scholarship. Um, money goes back to the fair. We're doing a silent bid auction, but um, you can come bid on these pieces and, um, you know, it's, it's good for the fair, it's good for uh, the community because they get make a donation for a great uh, scholarship fund for the fair. So you come, um, you can come back and bid on the pieces they're making here right before your eyes, and uh, the money stays local. You know, we, I, we always like that here in Western New York when we know that a fundraiser, that the money stays local, and it goes, the Erie County Fair then goes ahead and chooses uh, young people for the scholarship money that's raised with these wonderful sculptures. And so the um, the auction, it's it's a silent auction, it's, it's bidding, and it, you're, um, you're putting out the highest bids so people know where they're at with their bidding. Does the bidding go uh, go on f until the end of the fair? Do you know, uh, have, have they decided when the bidding closes? Yes, it goes on to the end of the fair, and then the day after the fair is when they will, uh, you know, find out who's the, the winning bid of each piece, and then they'll contact them. So you have until the last day of the fair, folks. And today is only Wednesday, and there are all there's already this line of phenomenal sculptures. So between now and the end of the fair, how many how many more pieces will be added to what we're seeing here? There'll be a total of 36 pieces. Um, the, the fair has taken a couple of them and set them off for for special auctions. Um, so there's going to be you know over 30 pieces to, to choose from, uh, put your bid on. So. 
Donna, Tom, what are the tools of your trade? Chainsaws. Yeah, we use a chainsaw for about 99% of the carving. We put the eyes and the nostrils in with uh, die grinders and, and special wood tools for that. But uh, the biggest question is, what kind of wood are you using? Um, we use white pine. It's the best wood for carving. Um, no hardwoods or, or any of that. So you know, the white pine. So uh, white pine, so it's a particular kind of wood, and chainsaws. So you're, you're really good with a chainsaw, Donna. Yeah, I've been practicing a lot. <laughs> and um, these are for indoor or for outdoor. They ho they'll hold up if you if you place them outdoors. Right, oh yeah, we uh, at our shop, we put three coats of sealer on everything. It makes them extra shiny and beautiful. Um, and they're, they're made for outside, but people's putting them in their living rooms and uh, you know highlighted different areas of the house with them. And uh, where are you from, Tom? I work from Brockport, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour and a half south of Bradford, right along 219. We have a shop there. You can come and check out all of our artwork we have done and finished right there. And uh, remind us again the name of your shop. It's TND Carvings. TND Carvings. Do you have a Facebook? Are you online? Um, Extremelogmakeover.com. Um, what's our other one? We have the Facebook too for TND Carvings. Excellent. Thanks, Donna. Tom, thank you so much for taking a moment and speaking with us and giving us the opportunity to see what is really phenomenal work. We're glad that you're here with us this year. Well, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Uh, hope you guys have it back next year. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. There's so much fun to be had at the Erie County Fair and so much entertainment. And one of those wonderful entertainers is here with us this morning. He'll be the skinny German break. We're running to a break. Behind me is a costume that belonged to our original mascot. What was our mascot's original name? Was it A, Fairchild, B, Farley McFair, or C, Faradell? The best 12 days. The best. Days of summer are here. It's the 179th Erie County Fair, August 8th through the 19th. See what we've got packed into 12 days of sensational sizzling summer fun. The best shows. The best rides. And don't forget. The best animals. Summertime's best food. The best times. Nothing says summer like the best 12 days of summer at this year's Erie County Fair. Old man winter is coming. Are you ready? When it comes to your snow removal equipment, you need a dealer that does more than just sell a plow then it's time for you to visit General Welding and Fabricating, Inc., an authorized boss dealer. Not only can we help you choose from the best products in the snow removal industry, but we're also your go-to guys when it comes to answering all your boss questions. This week, stop at General Welding 10 at the Erie County Fair and take advantage of the lowest pricing of the year. Save up to $400 off any installed in-stock boss snow removal equipment. Choosing a bank that's the right fit for your personal or professional needs requires serious consideration. Lakeshore Savings is a local bank with big banking products and no intentions to outgrow our home in western New York. We believe we're just the right size and we intend to keep it that way. Earn up to 1.5% with a qualifying balance when you open an LS Premium Money Market Savings account. Stop in or visit online to get started today. Banking with your best interest in mind. It's how we do business. Get the experience you've been craving at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute. At NFCI, you'll learn the latest techniques from experienced faculty in a state-of-the-art facility. Earn a degree and gain real-life, hands-on experience with seven programs to choose from. Develop a taste for the extraordinary at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute, located right in the heart of Niagara Falls, New York. It's like a five-star restaurant where every course matters. Enroll now because this is how you make it. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. In this segment, we are going to speak to Hilby, one of the fabulous entertainers here at the Erie County Fair. And Hilby has an interesting title. He is the skinny German juggling boy. Hilby, you're not a boy. <laughs> the boy, I like that. Um, the boy is internal. Oh, oh, okay. Externally, I'm getting to the senior age. But internally, I'm still a boy. So, um, Hilby, that is definitely not a Western New York accent, I'm hearing. 
No, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more east of Western New York. I'm from a country called Germany. So uh, you you were raised in Germany. You came over to America, and you're juggling for us. I'm juggling for us. I'm juggling for everybody who's watching. Yes. You, and you. how long have you been juggling? Um, I've been. I was a social worker in Germany. I became a juggler over here, and um, so that's been now 25 years. Social worker to juggler. I mean, that's yeah. kind of a leap. It's a normal curve, I guess. Okay. No. All right. No, it had something to do with education and not wanting to go back to college and also not mm -hmm. being able to afford it. My wife went to college, and um, this I, is more fun. It is more fun, and I make my own hours, and um, I make people smile instantly, and um, it's immediate response. I love everything about it. Is this your first year at the Erie County Fair? It's my fourth year at the Erie Ooh. County Fair. Thank so you, you. So you like us, we like you. You oh, keep well, coming back. You know, I like to say that the people in Western New York have exquisite taste. Oh, we do. Yeah. It's true. We do. We do. So, uh, where where do you tip? Where can we typically find you juggling here? There's on the, on three the shows. There's three shows: mm -hmm. um, one thirty, three thirty, and seven thirty. So locations are by the grandstand down at the park, and then at the firehouse. If you go, the information booths. These are lovely people. They're more than happy to help you and give you a program with a map and show you exactly where it is. How to find and you? How to find, how to find me. me? And also, usually something is on fire when I start. Oh. Oh, okay. show and then right. and I'm loud and so obnoxious and I have a German planes. accent so yeah it's yeah, pretty easy to planes. find me yeah, all right, all right. Planes, yeah. so um, I know that we're here in the cook's kitchen right mm -hmm. Hilby and and I'm sure that when you're juggling and you're juggling when you're performing you've got all your stuff that you've brought in around you to juggle but um we're just going to start throwing kitchen things at you. I think so too. I want to see you how know, you can do it. As kitchen. a juggler, you can you can juggle with anything. You can juggle with your hands. You want to learn a trick with your hands? I, I juggle with my hands? Yeah. Here you know, you go. I, so, I don't know how to juggle. So you don't have to actually know how to juggle. Put okay. your thumb up. Everyone at home, put your thumb up and switch it to your next finger. Oh. Thumb, index finger. If thumb, you have a hard time finger. with that, you might want to step to the next step. So do the same thing with your other hand. Thumb, index finger, thumb. Now one hand, thumb one hand index finger and now we switch back and forwards 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 back and forwards. i did it <laughs> yes oh, oh my god almost. here we go wait how, how is this so hard <laughs> yeah this is up there with like this this one I, or, I my favorite one is this one the laurel and hardy one this is my favorite check this one out okay so it goes knees nose ear knees nose ear knees nose ear Knees, nose, ear, knees, nose, ear, knees, nose, ear, knees, nose, ear, knees, nose, nose. There's countless other ones. I think I'm not a juggler. But you have a social life. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. So um, I'll work on my juggling of fingers that's not working. But I want to see what you can do with things like, I don't know, tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. I love tomatoes. A bottle of Erie County Fairground Pale Ale. I used to drink. I still Let's do, see, but I used this? to too. A cutting board. I tell you what, let's start off with the easy stuff. Oh, let's okay. start off with the tomatoes. Easy for you. Look, here we go. This is juggling, simple juggling. And watch this. I bought special effects for the people at home. We're going to do some juggling in 3D. Watch this. 3D juggling. <laughs> <laughs> See, I meet the people in the studio, love. <laughs> there must be something to it. Look, I do tricks too. But it's all about the positive facial expression. And now you pose. Posing is just as important. He'll be the skinny German juggling boy. What if I throw some glass at you? You saw Would it. Would you me? catch it? I, so, <laughs> I could catch it, and I might even throw it back to you. Oh, but no, I no, know I, I wouldn't catch it. But here we go. We come on a suit. Quick I can't balancing juggle trick. With my fingers. How would I catch it? Which is balancing. Oh. Which is what is this? WWF wrestling? No, yeah, no, not yet, not yet. Only if I mess up. You know, some balancing. Oh, oh no, oh. we're not. We're not gonna do balancing. Okay. But hey, we're gonna oh, do the bottle. Who yeah. are you? Are, Where are, are you we? Okay. <laughs> is this Western New York? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, good. All right, three objects. You challenge me. Okay. Pick, pick the three. You Game on. That. Game this, on. This one. Oh. The cutting board. Great. Awesome. A glass bottle. Of a glass bottle. Erie County Fair Pale Ale and pepper. Because if it breaks, you're gonna sneeze. Oh, no, you're setting see. me up. I am. Um, good. Is. I hope you have a good insurance. Uh, because sure. if, you, if you're gonna sue me, this is what you're gonna get. That's all. Oh, is. I thought you meant if you sue. Okay. Uh, no, no, the other oh, way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. And kids, don't try this trick at home, okay? Do it in school. More people can watch and appreciate what you're doing. <laughs> and maybe switch it to a lemonade, perhaps. You're right, right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> Here you go. This is not gonna last long. No. Last time I tried it, didn't last at all. Oh. Let's first try what this is going to fly like. 
This is going to be the hardest one. It's a, it's a strange shape. It's a strange shape. But my father used to say, nothing is impossible. Sometimes it's highly unlikely. But is he it, also is the is same it, guy who said, trying is the first step towards failure. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the shortest TED talk you will ever hear. <laughs> Talk is over. All right. Juggle, Hilby. Okay, I know. Juggle. I'm nervous. I'm not that good. I'm not that good. We did it. We did it. Thank very you. Very nice, Hilby. Oh, thank very, you. very nice. Poor Hilby walked in. He had no idea what I was going to throw at him, but he caught it. All of it. So, um, Hilby, you've been to the Erie County Fair for four years. You've probably traveled all over the United States. You've probably traveled all over the world. 74 countries. Mm -hmm. Is that all? That's it, you know. But then, granted, if you go up in Europe, you already Germany is already surrounded by eight countries. So, like, if you just go from A to B, often you pass three other countries. And also, I work on cruise ships in the winter time. Oh, how fun! Oh, look at this! <laughs> like, <Ooh. laughs> cruising with so, Hildy. So, um, thank you so much for showing us, you know, what you do with what we threw at you. Folks, come and check Hilby out. Not only can he juggle, he's really funny. You're a funny guy. We, you have such great energy, Hilby. So thank you for coming and thank showing you, us some of your juggling expertise. Once again, where can we find you? 130, 330, 730, three location, Grandstand, Park, and the Firehouse. Thank you, Hilby. We will be right back. Stay with us. Best. Days of summer are here. It's the 179th Erie County Fair, August 8th through the 19th. See what we've got packed into 12 days of sensational sizzling summer fun. The best shows. The best rides. And don't forget. The best animals. Summertime's best food. The best times. Nothing says summer like the best 12 days of summer at this year's Erie County Fair. There's a bank in our community that saves you money wherever you are. A bank where people right here answer the phone and spend time with you to answer your questions. A bank that has proudly served Western New Yorkers for more than 90 years and counting. Evans Bank. Experience a better way. It's Erie County Fair time. Make sure you stop by the WBBZ TV gazebo near the historical building. Make a $1 donation and spin the wheel of summer fun, where everyone wins the best prizes. Your donation benefits prevention focus, making safe and healthy happen, with support from Bob Schiff's Pierogies, Salvatore's Pizza, Elaine's Flower Shop, Eat Right Foods, Aurora Imprints, Chef's Italian Restaurant, Fisher Price Toys, and Dave and & Buster's. See you at the WBBZ TV gazebo at the Erie County Fair. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. We all know the Erie County Fair features great entertainment. Not to be forgotten along with that great entertainment is the Cirque Circus under the direction of our hometown ringmaster, John Kane. We caught up with some of the Cirque Circus and John and I think something about the ultimate fair baby. Take a look. Did you know the Erie County Fair had a ringmaster? Do you know that this year we are featuring a circus under the big top at the Erie County Fair? What a great time to come out to the fair, especially if you are the ultimate fair baby. Did you know there was an ultimate fair baby? <laughs> Hello, ultimate fair baby. So you can see it right here on his shirt. Self-proclaimed ultimate fair baby. What's the ultimate fair baby's name? This is baby Jack. Hi, Baby Jack. Thanks for being our ultimate baby. Circus girl, ultimate fair baby. So you gotta come out, check out the circus. Maybe, um, maybe when the ultimate fair baby wakes up, he'll wave at you too. Thanks, guys. We'll see you at the circus. We'll see you at the fair. 
So what's better, cute babies at the fair or yummy food at the fair? I'm not sure. Well, Brian Singer is going to debate that with us this morning as we talk about breakfast at the fair. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you for coming in this morning and bringing some yummy treats. So, Brian, uh, you work with uh, one of the Masonic Lodges locally Correct. here? Correct. Uh, the Millennium Masonic Lodge, uh, which is a local, we're, we're out of the Cheektowaga Buffalo area. Mm -hmm. um, since 2000, we've had the booth up at the Erie County Fair. Uh, we're on Broadway, which is the main food court area. Um, What's the name of your booth on Broadway? It's uh, it's a Millennium Lodge Curly Q booth. So it's named after your lodge. Correct. And it's the Curly Q booth because that now that makes me think of French fries. It is. We serve probably one of the best Curly Q fries in the fairgrounds. Oh, what uh, sets your French fries apart from all the other French fries at the Erie County Fair? Uh, they're made by Brian hometown makes them. people. Brian makes them. Yes. That's what sets them uh, apart. They are they are all fresh cut. Brian makes them. I believe yeah. you. I, it's Thank just, you. Just you alone, Brian. Uh, You're yeah. the reason. Take no, it. No, I got a lot it. of it's other you, people. Brian. Got a lot of other people that help me out and, and make it all worthwhile. So you know when we think about food at the Erie County Fair, everybody thinks of things like fried dough or candied apples or um, you know like that the toffee that when you try and, mm -hmm. and get it all in your teeth. But some of us are here early in the morning at the fair, and the fair opens you know what 10, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So that's like breakfast time, Brian. Yes. Yep. And most of the vendors, they forget. People like breakfast. Exactly. But not the Masons. Exactly. Well, we, 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 we didn't come up with the idea of breakfast. You did? Uh, but I'm going to guess that the Masonic <laughs> fraternity is very old, so maybe we did. Okay. Um, but that was the reason. Uh, we would get here in the morning to set up for our French fries and hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. And I noticed there was a lot of people working on the grounds. And we decided that we would give our hand at serving breakfast mm -hmm. to the workers that were out here so they would have a chance to have something to eat. But not only the workers, you know, the fair opens early. Yes. Folks come in and everybody comes to the fair hungry. Yes. So if you come to the fair hungry and you want, I don't know, some bacon and eggs, well, Brian's got you covered. And it is good. Did you make this bacon, Brian? I did. This I tastes did. just like bacon. It should. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> How fortuitous. <laughs> so. so great. Breakfast at the fair. You know, I had no idea that we could get bacon and eggs and this cheese-covered yumminess, cheese-covered goodness for breakfast at the fair. But, of course, you do food that is for the rest of the day, curly cues. What else Correct. do you have? Hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, of course, soda drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a variety of flavored milk. All the serve. typical things that we've grown accustomed to. Yes, yes. The good, fair fair. Food. good fair Talk food. Talk to us a little bit about your lodge. Uh, well, the Masonic Fraternity is a fraternal organization. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our main reasons is to be charitable and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so the money that we raise at the fair goes to support the scholarships that we give out every year. And every year the uh, lodge chooses an individual charity to right. back. Uh, they haven't picked this year's charity yet, but uh, I'm sure uh, they are get leaning towards. And vote on it. They are leaning mm -hmm. towards supporting a Christmas party for one of the local uh, charities. Oh, how nice! So. so you know the Masons really do work in the community. Yes, Giving we do. Giving back to the community is a yes. big part of the lodge's purpose. Yes. And so, all of this lovely breakfast food at the fair turns around and helps our local community. Yes. And I, I know I always like that when when you know you're giving to a charity that stays local. Yes. Um, yes. And and the Masons are so good at um, remembering how much we like our charitable organizations to be local, to stay yes. local. Yes. So wonderful! Thank you. Tell us once more where we can find breakfast at the fair. Uh, we are on Broadway, um, next to uh, the big white Chevetta's tent. Oh, okay. Ours is a red, white, and blue tent. So sniff sniff for Chevetta's, and then you'll find breakfast yeah. next to it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much Brian. for having me. Thanks Thank for you. coming in, and we will be right back. Fair Day Live continues after this. The best 12 days. The best. Days of summer are here. It's the 179th Erie County Fair, August 8th through the 19th. See what we've got packed into 12 days of sensational sizzling summer fun. The best shows. The best rides. And don't forget. The best animals. Summertime's best food. The best times. Nothing says summer like the best 12 days of summer at this year's Erie County Fair.
discover a world of magic and wonder where you can imagine all sorts of new adventures and endless possibilities where you can find what you need for everything from late night soothing snuggles to meeting a new best friend come to Fisher Price there's always fun in store Foods716.com. Looking for a fun night out? Grab your friends and join the chefs at the Niagara Falls Culinary Institute to create new and amazing dishes in hands on classes. In each class, you'll receive personalized attention from our chef and learn kitchen tips that you'll use every time you cook. After preparation, there'll be time to enjoy the meal you just created. Check out our course schedule online at nfculinary.org. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Thank you for joining us today at the Erie County Fair on Fair Day Live. And don't forget all the great events going on today that you need to come out and see. Create your own veggie creature at 12 p.m. in the Grange Building. New York born, bred, and raised beef cattle show at 1 p.m. in the Livestock Arena. Linda Lund from Bopch's Pierogi giving a cooking demonstration today at 2 p.m. in the Erie County Fair Cook's Kitchen and Shop. Lucas Oil Pro pulling league track tractor <laughs> truck and tractor pull <laughs> at 6 p.m. in the Buffalo.com grandstand. And we can't forget the WBBZ gazebo. We've got all kinds of great stuff going on at the gazebo, Brian. In fact, Saturday, we have Superhero Day. Who doesn't love a good su superhero? Bring the kids on down to the WBBZ gazebo at 4 o'clock this Saturday. You'll meet the superheroes that, well, you've always wanted to meet. And then on Sunday, a dream is a wish entertainment. We'll be visiting at 2 p.m. at our gazebo. So, Saturday and Sunday, great things and WBBZ. And every day at the fairs, something wonderful for you to do. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us on Fair Day Live. You can catch up with us on YouTube, Facebook, the Erie County Fairgrounds webpage. Thanks for being here. We'll see you at the fair. The preceding presentation was produced by WBBZ-TV in partnership with the Erie County Fair, who paid a production fee for the program with sponsor support.